Hi, so I came across this title on Steam um, a little while ago and um, wanted to do a quick review for it. Um, it's called Off-Road Mania. Um, it's dirt cheap, so it's four pounds. Um, it's got a bucket load of content in it. Um, but basically what it is, it's kind of a weird cross between Art of Rally and Mudrunner. Um, that, that's about the best way I can describe it, but it's not Mudrunner. But it's a kind of similar thing. So it, it's rock hopping, rock crawling, green laning type arcade looking with surprisingly robust physics underneath it type title. Um, it, it's clearly the work of a small team, in this case a single person, you can't get much smaller a team than that, um, but it's got a bucket load of content, it's got a rough around the edges but very 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 nice charm to it, um, and the, the bit I like most about it is that the physics underneath it are actually incredibly robust, really really good. Um, so you get about half a dozen or so cars in it um, of differing types from um, obviously they're all unlicensed so you've got your Jeep clones in there you've got your buggy clones in there you've got your Land Rover Defender clones in there etc etc um, and then a load of modes so the main one the meat of it so to speak is uh, what's called classic trial uh, which is effectively get over a variety of obstacles of an off-roading type um, using your high and low range your various gears a bit of rocking backwards and forwards um, and you know these are increasingly complex and in some cases silly uh, and basically you've got to get from the start to the finish and also try and collect three trophies as you go around um, and by collecting the trophies that then unlocks further levels within it um, and certain other features, vehicles, etc, etc. Uh, and there's a lot of content in that regard only, but you've then also got a free roam mode, um, and you've got a couple of free roams in there, and uh, these just give you a big play pen um, with lots of different obstacles that you can take your own time in and mess around on. Oh, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention on the classic trial is, as well as playing in a standard kind of mode, there's also a um, cockpit view, which is really quite challenging, um, and also a hard mode which effectively just gives you one shot to get from the start to the finish rather than allowing you to restart as you go through it. Um, free Roam doesn't have either of those but it is just the ability to wander around and have a good look around within um, various levels. You've then got something called Endless Mode which I really like now. Endless Mode does also have a hard version of it and with Endless as you complete one stage another one appears um, and there's a trophy for completing each of these stages and basically you just keep going until you fail effectively and it's really nice and I really like like the way that um, kind of Inception-esque, um, the new stage as you come to the end of, or towards the end of the one you're currently in, pops up. It's really nicely done. And then you've got a kind of time trial mode, which is um, get from A to B as quickly as possible. And again, this has a hard mode version in it. You've got the ability to play around with uh, some of the settings on the car, so you know you can play around with the preload, damper settings, ride height, etc. But you do again have to collect a certain number of trophies to unlock these tuning areas. So there's a nice little um, reward and kind of like a incentive to complete more levels. And there's also some very basic customization in it as well, so you can change the colours of various elements of the vehicles themselves and your not at all stick like driver can also have uh, various elements of their race suit, their boots, their gloves, their helmet and their visor tweaked and changed in colour as well. It's basic but it, it's functional. The main thing is it it's incredibly good fun. It's really quite Moorish, the uh, just one more go, one more level, one more stage um, 
draw to it is is real and there and there's an awful lot of content and judging by um, what you can see on the steam page there is an absolute shed load of um, updates that come for this it seems to get updated every single month with new content of one form or another so uh, it's been out a little over a year but it's been well supported since launch by the creator and for the money I don't think you can go wrong being perfectly honest uh, four pound even if you play it for an hour and never come back to it if you, you picked up a bargain um, but I think in all honesty you probably will spend more time than that with it because it's definitely worth a look without a shadow of a doubt so that's a quick little look at um, off-road mania and uh, it's one I strongly recommend picking up if you're on pc it will run pretty much on a potato um and it's just a really good fun little title and uh, stuff like this needs supporting in my personal opinion and it's great to see so yeah if you've enjoyed this please do hit the like button if you want to see more content of this type please do subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell icon to be notified when new content gets uploaded thanks very much take care